Hey, fellas, what's up? It's been a while since I've done a show for you. Uh, as you know, I've been busy. I've been trying to improve my video marketing skills. I'm taking new courses, buying new software and everything else uh, to make this a full-time gig. So I'm going to go take a look at our recent uh, comments and shit like that. I know there's been a lot of them. One thing that kind of surprised me, I, I watched the uh, advice show. Oh, God, he didn't have, I'm the goddamn bean dude on there. I'm like, what? He took Phil in. I guess they're both fellow Texans. Oh, my God. Okay, let's see. Our Mac was cracking, man. You want some of that? Uh, that's great on one of my videos, How to Attract Women. Uh, I'm looking for questions. That's what I'm really looking for. Belly OV7. Never mind, I already found out. I still have another important question, but I doubt you'll reply. <laughs> I'm replying now. There must be another question further down. Assad. Uh, under my 15 steps, you guys should have watched that video. Not everybody watched the video. And only three people even bothered commenting on it. It's about finding your purpose and discovering and creating a mission statement for yourself. Help guide your life. So those people that watch that are my market. The rest of you guys are not my market because I'm looking for people that really want to better their lives. Uh, Cleotha Moss. This thing is hilarious, but true. All right, Cleotha. Stop smoking that wacky tobacco, man. We don't use that word nigga anymore. Uh, Kionta, heck, I, I know lots of loser with nothing going for them, and they get chicks. Lots of them. I guess confidence. Out of my ye old funny papers. That's what they have, and you don't have. I've said that before. Uh, thanks for liking my video, The Power of Morpheus. <laughs> Uh, the Ultimate Natural says, these hoes ain't loyal, except to their own desires. Uh, he must be African-American. Well, I'm going to tell him what call him with hoes. And, um, unfortunately, the black community has been pimped out. So black males and women, or sorry, black males yeah, and females, they don't get along. Uh, black men don't trust black women. Black women, sure, for sure, don't trust black men. I mean, there's a few, very few actually black men on the planet today. There are black males out there, but not very many men. It's a sad situation. My Ganola Supreme, I'm going to do an experiment on Spy Cam. I've been meaning to do this. Should be a, a good I do. Should be a good I do. Good to do, you mean? Uh, first, I'm going out to the clubs, doing usual posting up and talking to women. The next night, I'm going. Take a Viagra pill and see how it come off. Why would you do that? Don't don't waste your Viagra pill, man. Save for when you got a bitch in bed, man. So you get so you get that dick of steel. Poke the thing through a wall and shit. Uh, Night Shroud. I checked out that Steve Hoka video. Nothing about whining, complaining, bitch assness, really. Ah, uh, I need a link to the video. I haven't checked out the Steve Hoka video. I, the guy that uh, I was having a counseling or a coaching session with uh, helped me look it up, but then I forgot. I deleted the the, um, the tab. <sighs> Your funny papers, Michael Nolan again, we're all suits supreme. When you think about it, we look at women and fantasize about fucking them, right? Society is so feminized, they won't think like this, so they're weak, man, and nice. Now a lot of guys, that's why I'm trying to make you guys better, above the regular scrubs out there. Okay, I'm looking for questions, though. Let's see what we got here. Mr. G. Player Supreme, password not working on a site all of a sudden. This is Mr. Sinister? 
I thought I saw you on there today there, brother. When was this done? One day ago. Okay, you're good then. But Mr. Sin. Uh, let me know if you're not Mr. Sinister, uh, Mr. G. And um, <clears throat> you're still having problems. Remember, it runs for 30 days. <clears throat> After 30 days, if you don't renew it, <clears throat> you're cut off. <clears throat> but it's only five bucks. Everybody's got five bucks. <clears throat> I see a lot of comments, but no questions. I did a response video of uh, Palaguchi. Para Paraver Raver made a comment. So I noticed two comments here about height issues. I know player talked about how guys from MGTOW make a big deal about height and the need for that model look. I might be wrong, but I can get get it. Must be tough for some of them if you're five two. But what with the whole model thing? I don't know about what those guys are into. That whole model shit. They think you gotta look like a model get women. When you go outside your door, you see average people. Average guys with women every day. So what? She's not drop dead. She fell out of the sky, a perfect angel. They still got women. They got a woman that'll rub their fucking neck for them, suck their dick for them. What do they have? Mid towers. What do they have? Nothing. A super player like X Men. Yes. Pendejo. Pendejo. Ace Ortiz, what's up? Asthma got me on Sunday, so I couldn't not go out. Well, you didn't have to go out on Saturday, Friday, and Saturday. You had asthma on Sunday. Not a good excuse, man. G Grand Admiral Games, I know you've been following me, my comments on other stuff. Uh, I noticed that. You've been plus one in comments. How are you finding my comments? I've got to find a way to hide, you know, when I go to other channels like uh, African stuff and start battling with these racists. You know, I, need, I need to hide my comments. I don't want you know people from this channel following me all over the place. Like when I say hi to somebody on uh, who's one of the van dwellers or uh, one of the survival channels, you know, you guys don't need to read my comments to those guys. All right, let me just go check the um, mail. Hopefully you guys are asking questions in the you nope, know, looks like still I got the message out. Okay, Andreas Gustafsson. Hello Supreme. Remember me, bro? Anyway, I don't know why I always end up with freaks. I've been half with this blonde chick that likes to twerk, etc. She even twerked on her friend and she acts very ghetto and aggressive and fighting with the people. But she asked if I want to be her boyfriend because she is single now. I said, aren't you a cheater since you twerked on other guys when you were in a relationship? By the way, you know she's going to do that to you there, Andreas. You know that, right? <clears throat> uh, then she turned her word and said, no, I meant I was only doing it for my own boyfriend. I caught her in a lie, believe. Because I said, why are you twerking when you have a boyfriend? Then she said, I'm addicting to it, addicted to it. Ooh, I don't know why women these days aren't classy. Maybe it's because of the media. I can blame some of the media on that too, said brother. I see you as a father I didn't have a strong bond on my own. Thanks, Andreas. Can you see me? Hey, play, I have a problem. This summer, I was very lonely, and I found a girl. I didn't fall in love with her, but I had someone to fucking spend time with, right? Time did go by, and now eight months later, my confidence is way higher, and I'm hotter as I have hit the gym hard these last eight months and followed a strict diet. Now I want to get out in the game again. But I feel so bad 
break her, her breaking her heart. I don't know if I can do it. I want to help her and be her friend. Uh, you got to make a choice: the game or stay with that girl. Okay. Uh, you're that type of person. You don't get cheated on. And I respect that. So the game, either jump back in the game or stay with her. And that's up to you. You're going to have to do what you got to do. Okay? Carson's channel. Have you recommended anybody learn a musical instrument? No. In fact, in the old days of PUA, before PUA, um, Believe not, this is, this is creepy. They were telling guys to play the guitar for a girl. Green sleeves. Are you coming to Scarborough Fair? Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Yeah, for a girl. Isn't that stupid? Wait a minute. It's not as hard as a lot of people think to pick up a guitar, drums, learn to play music helps you eventually find your natural rhythm and ability to play something. That's nice. Play something well spreads the bitch's legs for you. I can say that women do like musicians. I'll just say that much. I'm not learning to play guitar, and nor am I going to play a fucking guitar for a bitch. My old self's coming back to the service, by the way. Bisexual baby shower. What the fuck? And what the fuck kind of screen name is that? I don't, I don't kick it with bisexual of anything. Hey, Player Supreme, I just wanted to thank you for all your videos. I've been watching them for some time, and I finally had a breakthrough. I hope to God you're not bisexual, man. I have to read these, but please don't say my name. This is live, too, man, if you do. Sorry. You even read my questions before and made fun of my name. I don't even remember your name. Wow, I must be getting old because I don't remember that name before. I remember something like that, but I guess I'm losing it. Anywho. I am a 25-year-old virgin that has barely even made out, made out a girl, heck, even felt boobs. I am white. Let me see what his question is. Oh, you wrote a fucking book, man. Chapter one. Definitely had picked up a lot of synth-ass traits that I became aware of through your channel. I'm definitely very nervous. I Try being a bookworm and shy. But I'm not a complete freak as I have started my own business about four years ago and it's taking off. Please give her the name bisexual, please. I don't deal with the bisexual energy. You know, a man is a man. Okay, we don't fuck with dudes. I have many clients and I am very good with people but I could barely talk to women. I was so lonely and pretty much everyone thought I was gay, using the name bisexual since high school, which when you're in a small town, gets around, lol. Anywho, why the anywho shit, anyway? What's that about? Basically, your advice on e-dating, clothes, appearance, and more really helped me. I went out and bought a pair of $100 shoes, Cut my damn long hair. You must have been doing that emo thing. Do you guys realize emo is creepy to normal people? You guys who do the emo thing, you're all scrawny and you don't hit the gym. You're all, your, your rib cage is narrow and, you, and you, you hunt your back and you wear all black and you grow long black hair, stringy hair, and you, you slick, slip around, arms moving, neck tight. And you talk like this. I tried to read, to listen to an audio book, 
It was obviously read by an emo, and the voice was so androgynous, I couldn't listen to it. Something about Somebody Saves the World. Um, I forgot the title, Tom Saves the World or something. I don't know what it was, but it, it was ridiculous. The reader could have gotten more femmed out if he tried. And then the character was like that. When I want to <clears throat> listen to an audio book, a fiction book, you know, I want my character to be a man. 100% man. Don't do no the new emo, weird, creepy people shit. So they don't, they don't get laid. They lay each other, the men. They pretend to be bisexual and get, get all femme with each other and lay together, hugging, spooning. Fucking perversion. And I know I said, you guys sound old? That pendulum started to snap back, by the way. Women ain't down for it anymore e either, in case you guys are wondering. Because of AIDS. That's why women don't want to kick it with, with gay dudes anymore. AIDS. They're afraid. And don't someone say, AIDS was, is now under control. Nobody wants that kiss of death. Hey, guys. I say that they may want it because a lot of them, I, I'm told, still do it without condoms. They go bareback. So that's like asking for it. I'm starting, oh, one thing about that. Do you see how much power they have? They're the ones that popularized. They're the main ones that, they're the ones who AIDS started with. Now, notice how we don't even think about that anymore? That's how much power they have with the media. They got us to stop thinking about it, stop looking at other people who are getting it, like drug addicts, black people, or whatever. Everybody but them. That's a quick flip. And I watched them do this shit. When you guys think of AIDS, what do you think of? A girl that might have AIDS. So they put that fear onto us. And now we're afraid to bone. Now we can't bone thanks to them. You know, without a fucking rapper on it. Can't connect. That means you enjoy sex less. You connect less together. Separates man and woman. So that the lesbians have a chance and the gay guys will get a chance at some fresh booty. Think about it. Everything's designed to separate us. And no, I don't believe in gay marriage. I don't give a fuck, personally. But I don't believe in it. I'm starting, I started going on e-dating sites on other advice of you reading the 50 plus year old virgin it really got to me you know what? i'm glad you're changing they're bisexual you know i can't stand saying your name i'll call you dude i was i don't want to end up like him and do i have to lose you know this is a live show and i can't do shit about this man you might want to just get rid of your fucking channel. You want to remake your, your name anyway. I'm looking at your channel right now. You're fucked. <laughs> Sorry, dude. You should have told me right off that I would have skipped it. Because I'm not going to read someone's message unless I can, you know, use it for advertising. But I'm glad you're getting... Uh, better at dating. Basically, you buy some easy dating clothes, $100 shoes, cut my damn long hair, got rid of my glasses. Damn good. That's fucking good, brother. Dude. I also started working out. Yeah. It wasn't crazy workouts as long as you're doing something, man. But it was better than nothing. Immediately, I felt like a new... I started going on e-dating sites uh, based on that other advice of you reading the 50-plus-year-old virgin really got to me. I was, I don't want to end up like him, and what do I have to lose? So I went out there and messaged people. People didn't get back or stood me up, but after a while, I got the hang of it. Now I'm dating someone I met from there. Congratulations. And I'm having such a great time. I just need that boost. 
That is fucking great. See, drop the vibe thing, man. See how enjoyable women are? Uh, sorry I read your name, dude. But if there's any advice I can pass on to others, it's to invest in yourself. I was always buying nice cameras, new video game consoles, and awesome things for my car. But I mean things for yourself as a shoes, haircut, etc. And then just go out there on a dating site and talk to as many women as you can. Don't think with the penis in the beginning. That's good advice for there. So I've told people, don't think with your dicks. Uh, can't run before you crawl. You got to walk before you can run. You got to crawl before you can walk. I guess and anything is possible. Thank you. On an unrelated note, the business, and he tells what his business is. I'm going to give that out. And just looking at your store, I can offer some passing advice is to look at the semantics of your store structure so Google will probably index it. I can send a link or email to you explain this further. It's free advice. I'll take it. And thank you for the free advice. I, uh, well, goodbye, Supreme. As a final goodbye, I just want to tell you like your videos. I think you have educated many people that watch your videos like me. I'm glad I got to talk to you a couple of times. Well, Ida, uh, where are you going? Back to um, Columbia? Carson's channel. Hey, Supreme, I've been a huge fan of your vids. Uh, they really helped. I think I've read this one. They really helped me find myself as a man and learned a lot of stuff. I used to be a needy nerd and thought pussy was the only thing in the world. I used to chase it. Now I'm a better man physically and mentally. It's almost like it just comes to me. I messaged you about a year ago. I'm 20 at the time. I messaged you. I weigh, yeah, 120 pounds at 5'7". It took a while to grow, but Compass came first, and now I'm a carpenter. Right. I've, okay, I've caught up. And then here's Ida again, yeah. I know where you guys are moving to, you and your husband. Uh, congratulations on your move, though. I'll have to catch up with you. All right, back to the community. I was uh, looking around on um, Google again, and I found a post from 2011. Something about player supreme scam artists. Let's see if I can find that. This is uh, really, this is actually old. Uh, it's from 2011. Uh, it's, it's that um, sign generator shit again. And I don't remember where I kept my proof of game. So I created another one. So don't mind me if I upload some shit. But I'm going to upload a video that I want you guys to use in the future. Hmm. Well, it looks like this is the wrong screen. Hold on one second here. Nope, that's not the right screen. Okay. I bet you can see that you're seeing this actual screen here. Yeah, let's go present to everyone. You are screen sharing. Okay, good. I don't know if you guys can see this because the software seems to be acting up, but it was on so suave. 
Player Supreme exposed as a scam artist. And there was a link to those old Eddie videos. That guy, Eddie, you guys remember him? He used a sign generator. And this fellow says, this one has hit me hard. So I'm going to go back to So Suave. This guy looks like he's still a member there. So I'm going to let F283000 know he can still trust me. I'm surprised that Warrior 74. My back. He knows I don't fake my shit. And uh, what do you say? I rarely think of people as a guru. He was always Chris, a guy who knew a little more game than me. I'm tired of helping people in their time of need and not getting appreciation for it. Domo arigato. Thank you very much for your belief. Domo arigato means uh, thank you, basically thank you in Japanese. That's that guy that I talked about. Uh, I'll leave him alone because I don't want to start any fights. Alcone! Alcone! I remember that guy. Another jackass. Sorry. It slipped out. Huh. Chef from South Park. Okay. I'll take it. <laughs> it was like Karma, Karma Sutra. Oh, this, what's there? Oh, this is old. This is going way back to the Lipson days. Someone had actually left a good comment. Uh, they actually grew from it. Let's see if we can find it. Yeah. Uh, where was that comment at? Well, it's in my video that I made, so I'm going to upload the video and excuse me for being a little childish or whatever. It would be when I, people call me out, but this is no call out. I don't want to disappoint that guy, F whatever his numbers were, though. Um, I'm going to make sure I go on to SoSwab and post a link to the video. Uh, take out new screen name and go over there and post just for him. So F, what was the screen name? You guys shouldn't take nerd names, man. Let's see, F283000. That's a nerd name if I ever heard one, man. You should do better than that. Okay, on my site, Confidence has been under discussion. You grow your confidence by doing, fellas. Uh, one of the fellas, uh, Mr. London, picked up a girl off a tender bounder, and one of my guys, Marty, was asking, how'd you do that, man? And I was surprised because Marty uh, was probably looking for one of those magic answers again. Mr. London said, well, I met her. We had coffee. We went and fucked, basically. It's that easy. There's no magic out there, fellas. There's no magic techniques. All you got to do is just man up. If you want to come over your place, ask her to come over your place. When it's time to kiss her, a man's going to kiss her. And I know it's scary when you're with a girl and you're wondering, well, should I kiss her? Should I kiss her? I've been there. Eventually, you just man up and do it. I remember when I first kissed Jovina. It was at a bar. Uh, that's the zebra bar. And so if you live in Sacramento, you know what I'm talking about. I didn't kiss her the night I met her. In fact, I didn't take her home. She, Jovina, the night I met you, I didn't, we didn't go home. We, no. no. I was with the girl, remember? Yeah. Yeah. Did I call you the next day? Yeah. I called you the next day yeah. and set up a, I set up a, uh, a drink date. We didn't go to coffee. Yeah, we, we went for a drink, the zebra, zebra bar, yeah. And uh, I remember she was on the – were you sitting down? I'm, 
I was on the stool next to you, right? Or were you standing? That's you were standing up, okay. And that's when I kissed you, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I just kissed her. Were you surprised that I kissed you? No, I, I can kind of see it coming. How could you see it coming? This might be something we can learn here. The, the way you were started, we were starting to get closer, mm -hmm. and we were talking. The tone of the voice. The, How did my voice? It just. Did it get uh, really in, um, sexy? My voice got sexy. Yes. Like how? Like, Lower, softer, slower. It got, it got uh, like deeper. this. Like this. Yeah. yeah start deeper. talking like this. Yeah. And then yeah. the look in your eyes, also that gleam in your eyes. <laughs> wow. So I was gonna <laughs> smack it up with you. So there you go, fellas. You make your voice when you try to kiss her, you know, make your voice low. Start looking at her, you know, like I'm looking right now. Yeah. Okay. See, that's the look, right? Yeah, that's the look. Exactly. That's the look, yeah. So you lower your eyes down, you know, you tilt your head a little bit. And that's, that's like perfect for you going in for a kiss. Yeah, like clean the eyes, yeah. So I think a lot of guys, because they're scared of women, they get they, that fear look in their eyes. Yeah, maybe. See the difference? First, okay, see, here's, here's the, the look, this seductive look. And here's you guys. Oh, my God. What is she, did I say the wrong thing? Did I say the wrong thing? Oh, God, what's she thinking? Does she like me? There's a big difference between, between cool dudes and nervous fucks. You nervous fucks, you kill your game every time you go stinking up the air around a girl with that fear shit. Your voice gets all nasally. You, you overdo your arms, start getting all nervous and twitching and twerking like a girl, gesturing. And at the same time, you have the voice. It's no wonder it's hard for a lot of guys to leave. Slow down, okay? Yeah, so you got to get in. Also, no, so Jeevan said my voice got sexy and my had that look in my eyes. That's because I was thinking sex. I put the energy of sex into my my personality. I started thinking that way. When you start thinking and projecting sex at her, they can feel it and they know. Like she heard it in my voice. I never asked her that question. I'm glad I brought it up. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I went in for that kiss. After I kissed her, I knew, I, I knew it was mine. It was mine. I got this. It's like no big deal. I, I, I <laughs> we didn't do it that day. She was on a period, but it was just a matter of time. Like she said, you know, it ends on Wednesday. She's over the Wednesday. I went fuck someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking. That was a bad joke. So anyway, you want to think with your energy, project your energy at them. And you got to come out of that whole nervousness that you guys do and relax. When you have power, when you're in your power, you feel like you could look at them and talk to them like any, any kind of way you want to. And look at them, you know, with the eyes of the bedroom eyes, the sex in your eyes, the smirk on your face, the gleam, then your voice changes, it gets softer and deeper. Yeah, really? You talk like this. Yeah, really? Yeah. Yep, a little raspiness, yes, yes. You can hear it, huh? Yeah. That's where's them on. I don't actually, does that turn you on? Yeah, I actually did because I, I use on women, it turns them on. Hmm? I think most women go that. Yeah. You know, if you're always up here and you're young like this, and I, 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 that's Steve Hoka, I need to think when you get here and you're here and you're here. 
It's no wonder why girls don't want to be around his ass. <laughs> you talk like that? Like <laughs> hey, I don't know, Jomina. If I talk like this, could I have kissed you? No. I, am. No. I think I could have got a kiss. No. You guys are working on voices. Uh, J10, you really have to work on your voice, man. Your voice doesn't fit the image. Okay? It, it's, it's good that a lot of guys are able to correct their voices and straighten it out. Make it a little bit deeper. Even if you talk up here, you talk up here in your nose, down at your throat and talk from your throat. Then you can bring it down to your chest and talk from your chest. When you want to get sexy, you take it down to your balls and talk from your balls down there. See how my voice changed? Because I projected my energy from my balls. My balls. I'm Italian. My balls. Hey, you breaking my balls? Stop breaking my balls. Well, that guy, that Cuban guy from Scarface. So look, start talking for your for your balls, fellas. Everywhere you go, project yourself out of your balls. That's man juice, and that'll give you what you need out there. I do need to finish up my my product sexual transmutation. I've gotten over the issues. You guys do what you want with it, so I'm gonna start working on it again this weekend. Make some headway on finish it up and get it out there for you guys real soon. So. You'll really be able to project your energy from your balls out there, your sexual energy, like I'm doing right now. Because I'm tapping into it and letting it flow. Because when it flows, it flows, fellas. You can do anything you want with it. You can channel that energy. Peace.